What's going on guys, Pokemon Card Collector here and welcome back to another video. So today is a little bit different as it is a double upload day. I'm very excited to be doing this. I'll be doing another double upload day on either Thursday or Friday, just depending on a few things. But before we get into the Mega Paradox video, which will be up after this video, I thought we should do a deck profile for a Malamar Lycanroc deck that I made to verse my Garchomp Buzzword deck. So I'm very excited to crack into this, I experimented a little bit with this last night, it was pretty effective, I uh, just made a little bit of tweak into the deck this morning, but should all be good, so let's get into this. We first of all, we play 1NK from Forbidden Light with Hypnosis, for 1 Psychic Energy, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, so I play 2 of them, I think I accidentally just said I play 1 of them, but no, sorry, let me just make sure it's on focus, yep, so I play another one of them as well, as y'all see. Then we play a Malamar from Forbidden Light as well for Psychic Recharge. Once you're in your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. We also have Psychic Speed on this for a 2 Psychic and a Colorless Energy does 60 damage. So I play the Reverse Hollow for one of them as well. It does the same thing, it's just a Reverse instead. Then we play a... sorry... We play a Cosmog from Ultra Prism. So for one colorless energy, you use a Teleport. You switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So I play, then we play a Cosmion with the same move from Ultra Prism. And then we play the Lunala. Now the reason I play the Lunala from Guardian Drives is because of Wings of Moon. Now for three Psychic Energies, it does 130. Then you apply Weakness, so it's very effective against, you know, fighting Pokemon, especially against Buzzwalls. But move all the energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon. So this is only really good for one time. So if I'm playing like a, if a Buzz or GX is in play, I would play this. I'll use Wings of Moon. It will do the times two damage on the Buzz Wall. So it will do 260. Then I move all the energies to my Malamar and the Malamar set up now. And that is why I decided to use it. Then I can also attach a, another Psychic next turn to use Scattershot as well. So that is why I use that Lunala. Now I play one Alolan Grimer, so this is familiar to you guys because it was in my PTCGO deck for my Garchomp Buzzwall. So the Super Poison Breath, for a for no energies, you flip a coin, if hedge, your opponent's Pokemon is now poisoned. Sorry, let me just straighten these up a bit for you. Yep. There we are. Then we play one Rock Ruff from Forbidden Light for surprise attack for a fighting and colorless energy. So you flip a coin, if heads, it does 50 damage, if tails, it does nothing. So sorry, we play two of them. And then we play one Lycan Rock from Forbidden Light. So we have Dangerous Rogue for a fighting and colorless energy. This attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then we have a Cellar Rock for two fighting and a colorless energy as well, which does a hundred damage. So I would chuck that one up there. And then we play the Lycan Rock from Burning Shadows. I play the Reverse Foil one for Dangerous Claws. So for one fighting energy, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, this attack does 30 more damage. So I find this to be useful especially against buzz walls or if you're trying to just knock out pokemon to gain prize cards to get an advantage over your opponent pretty useful for this and then you have corner for a double colors and fighting the defending pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn and it does 90 damage then we play one for Bebe from Forbidden Light. So we have the ability of evolutionary advantage. If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn with tackle for one fairy energy. So because we play the for Bebe, we play one Floet as well. With For one fairy energy, we have Swirling Petals. Switch over your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. If you do switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So pretty useful on that part as well. Then we play a for George's as well. So for Wondrous Gift, during this is the ability, once during your turn, before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, put an item card from your discard pile to the top of your deck, and then we have Mist Guard for two fairy and a colors, prevent all damage to this Pokemon done by Dragon Pokemon, which is very effective. So these are the Pokemon that I decide to use within the deck. So yeah, we have the Flaybear, Flow Out for the Georges, the Lyke, two Lycan Rocks here, the one from Burning Shadows, one from Vibrillat, two Rockcrafts, all on Grimer, a Lunala, a Cos... Oh. Cosmion, we have Cosmog, two Malamars, and then also two Inkays. So these are the Pokemon that I use within this deck, so I'll just get them, clear these, 
quickly and then we will get into the trainer and supporter cards that I use from this deck. So this deck is actually pretty good. I'll be doing some more experimenting with it on Friday, which is going to be a lot of fun. I think I'm hopefully going to be able to record that for you guys and that may be up as well. So we may be doing three double uploads throughout the next days. So my next double upload should hopefully be with the PTCGO tomorrow, which will be the Garchomp Buzzworld deck profile. It just depends on when these cards arrive that I'm waiting for. I only need a few more cards. They all come from the same person, so they should be arriving in the next few days. Hopefully today though, that is really what I'm hoping for. But let's get into this. So we play one looker, so we draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. Just pretty useful if you're running low on cards and you can play this. And you don't have to shuffle your hand into your deck. So if you don't want to play Cynthia or anything, you need cards, I would play this or I play a Hell generally as well. Then we play one potion to heal 30 damage of your one of your Pokemon. So yeah, I do use the Burning Shadows Elite Trainer Box sleeves for this one as well. But we play two... Yeah, two Pokemon Breeders. So you draw two cards and heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. So I find this to be very effective as well. I didn't actually really know what this card did. I didn't read it when I was apparently building together my Shiny Legends Master set. But I was going through my Energy and Trainer card binder yesterday and I discovered it. I thought it would be pretty useful within this deck. Next, we play a play set of Professor's Letters. So Professor's Letters, everyone know what that does. So you search your deck and you draw two basic Energy cards. So just fighting or fire or water, and psychic energy as well. So yeah, we oh, we play a play set of them as well. Then as you guys just saw, we play one episode. So you search your deck for a card from evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. Obviously that counts as evolving as it said in brackets. Then you shuffle your deck afterwards and you can't use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put into play that turn. Then we play two bodybuilding dumbbells. So I play this for the Malamar and Lycanroc as because the stage one Pokemon, they get 40 plus HP, which is very uh, effective which in within the meta and within the TCG because who doesn't want more health especially when you're versing the Buzzwalls or the Garchomps or stuff like that it's always useful to have extra health so again we play two of them then I play one Professor Kukui so it's just draw two cards and your opponent sorry your Pokemon attacks to 20 more damage so that is useful as well we wait, play one Professor Ho Oaks hints sorry from evolutions you just play this to draw cards until you have seven in your hand so you could play this um instead of cynthia or instead of sycamore as well then we play one judge so each opponent shuffles their hands into the deck and draws four cards so that can be a little bit of an annoying card as well um especially if your opponent has built up a hand next we play we play two so i think three turn mode yeah we put the three turn notes, so these are in substitution of how, so it's just to draw three cards. I have all my hows in my Garchomp Buzzwall deck, so I use these instead. So then we play one escape rope as well. So you each of you sorry, excuse me. Each player switches their active Pokemon, one of their bench Pokemon. So pretty useful with that as well. We use the XP share as well. So I haven't really used this before in the TCG, but when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack, you move one basic energy from that Pokemon to a Pokemon this card is attached to. So let's say you attach this to Malamar and you have a Lycanroc, no. Let's say you attach this to a Malamar and you have a the Lunala in the play. The Lunala gets knocked out before you can use the, what was the move called? The Wings of the Moon. Uh, then it gets knocked out before you use Wings of the Moon. Then you get to transfer one Psychic Energy from the Lunala to your Malamar. So I find that just to be pretty useful, especially within this deck. Then we play one Pokemon Center Lady, so heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from that Pokemon. So these are the trainer cards that I use for this deck. And then I just use these energy cards, which we can go through as well. So I play two counter energies. So this, so this card provides a normal or colors energy. If you have more prior cards remaining than your opponent, and if this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a GX or EX Pokemon, this attack provides each type of energy, but only provides two energy at, oh sorry, I played three of these. I think I accidentally said two. So I find this to be pretty useful. I don't actually use any EOX or GX Pokemon within this deck. I just use basic stage two, uh, stage one and stage two. We also play one unit energy. So we use this for the psychic one. So this card provides a colorless energy while it is attached to a psychic, lightning or steel Pokemon. 
Then we play, sorry, let me just get those cards up here. We play four psychic energies here. So I'll just chuck them here. So it's getting a little bit clouded, but I didn't think it was just worth clearing it off. Then we play, we play again, five fighting energies here. Yes, this one is from the base set. I thought I might as well just chuck that in here. So five fighting energies for that. And then the rest of the end, sorry, I didn't mean to knock the camera there. And then the rest of the energy are the psychic energy. So we play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve psychic energies. So quite a lot of energies. Um, but I think I'm going to try and add a Tapu Lele into this deck. I'm not sure what, well, I'll probably just get rid of a Psychic Energy, but I'm going to get a Tapu Lele first. And they seem to be going up in price as well, which is pretty good if you have it already. But that is our deck profile. So let me clear off these and then we'll sign off the video. So like I was saying, we will be doing a double upload today. So this video should be up first. This was a deck profile for the Malamar Lycanroc deck. And then I'll be doing the Omega Paradox, which is our usual video for today. I just thought it would be cool to do a double upload. I wanted to do a deck profile for a while. And I made a deck last night for like this Malamar Lycanroc deck. And I wanted to share that with you guys. That is why I did this a little bit of a small video just to go up today. It's not gonna be extremely long, but we are doing a double upload as well, like I said. So let me grab the Pokemon cards and we will chuck them on top to make sure that's all good. All right, and that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy this deck profile of my Malamar Lycanroc deck. It is a pretty good deck and if you let if you do use it, let me know whether you use it in the actual TCG or in the PTCG, I would like to know. So you can send me a message on Instagram or Twitter as well to let me know of that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this and until next time, keep on collecting.